The Justice Department is making a surprise return to the sex abuse investigation of a former USA gymnastics doctor, that's Larry Nassar. Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco says the DOJ has new information and will review a decision not to prosecute two former FBI agents accused of ignoring complaints against Nassar. Jeff Pegues is at the Justice Department with more on the story. Jeff, this is certainly an interesting turn, and I would think many of the victims will welcome this news. Yeah, indeed. And, Gil, that was the bombshell that came out of this Senate Judiciary Committee hearing yesterday. And as you noted, a lot of people caught by surprise, even some of the reporters covering the event. But what the Deputy Attorney General did not reveal is what that new information is. The victims did not receive the response or the protection that they deserved. In a Senate hearing Tuesday, Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco told lawmakers the Department of Justice was revisiting its decision not to criminally charge two former agents involved in the Larry Nassar sexual abuse investigation. But I do want the committee and, frankly, I want the survivors to understand how exceptionally seriously we take this issue. They had legal, legitimate evidence of child abuse and did nothing. The announcement came just three weeks after an emotional Senate hearing in which former USA gymnasts responded to a report released by the DOJ's Office of the Inspector General. That report concluded that FBI agents at the Indianapolis field office repeatedly failed to properly handle key components of the Nassar investigation in 2015, including failure to notify local and state officials about the allegations and giving incomplete and inaccurate information about their handling of the case to internal FBI investigators. We suffered and continue to suffer because no one at FBI, USAG, or the USOPC did what was necessary to protect us. But Monaco's testimony has given former U.S. Olympic gymnast and Nassar abuse victim Jessica Howard hope for real justice. I truly was in shock. It's one of the first times that somebody from the government at that level has taken responsibility. There might actually be consequences. And that in and of itself gave me an inner security that I have not had this entire time. These institutions need to learn that no one is above the law. In a statement, the attorney who is representing several Nasser victims, John Manley, called that announcement yesterday long overdue. We did reach out to the two agents involved in the original investigation, but we have yet to hear back. Gail. All right, Jeff, thanks.